Welcome to St. Thomas in the United States Virgin Islands. St. Thomas is one of the Virgin Islands in the Caribbean Sea and together with St. John and St. Croix form a county and constituent district of the United States Virgin Islands, an unincorporated territory of the United States. The Danes first settled the island in 1671 and it later became a Danish crown colony. In 1917, St. Thomas was purchased along with St. John and St. Croix by the United States for $25 million in gold. That would be about $489 million in today's worth as part of a defensive strategy to maintain control over the Caribbean and the Panama Canal during the First World War. Oh, there's no kind of. There's no kind of. Yeah, sure. By me? Yeah, Schau mich an, schau wie neu
We are currently in Charlotte, Amali, and it's a very nice day. It's really humid and sweaty. We're really enjoying St. Thomas and the Virgin Islands. We are now in the synagogue of St. Thomas. This is the second oldest synagogue in the Western Hemisphere. The synagogue was built in 1833 for a congregation founded in 1792. It is a synagogue with the longest history of continuous use on what is now United States soil. This synagogue belongs to one of the most unique synagogues in the world. Why? The floor is covered in sand. The tradition originated in Spain in the time when Jews in Spain were forced to convert to Christianity. The Jews who continued to practice their faith secretly used sand to muffle the sound of their footsteps as well as their voices and the prayers themselves. There are only five synagogues in the world that still hold this tradition. Our tour guide was very friendly and explained everything about the synagogue to us. Come to find out, she was born in the very same small Austrian town as I. What a small world. back to the cruise ship after a long, fun, but also tiring day on the U.S. Virgin Islands on St. Um, Thomas and Water Islands. 